This is important, difficult, and sensitive work. Within its mandate, the OSCE mission to Serbia has been assisting Serbia's judiciary on domestic prosecution of war crimes, supporting the resolution and implementation of justice for all parties involved. We monitor the trials, provide specific recommendations to the institutions, build capacities of judicial practitioners dealing with war crimes cases, and not the least, we work with youth on reconciliation efforts. And we do all of this in partnership with Serbian institutions. As an important step forward, the mission therefore welcomes the effort undertaken by the government of the Republic of Serbia in view of adopting the draft national strategy for the prosecution of war crimes for the period 2021 to 2026, accompanied by, I have to say, a detailed and very extensive 139-page action plan, all demonstrating seriousness and commitment to a process. Considering the number of war crimes cases yet to be processed, this new strategic document will indeed be a useful tool in moving forward on the war crimes files. I thank the Ministry of Justice for inviting us to be part of the consultative process, together with the distinguished experts of the working group drafting the strategy. I do note the importance of ensuring fair trial rights within the context of the defense of accused. And I encourage the Bar Association to contribute with their expertise on this key topic within the strategy. The draft strategy identifies challenges in investigating, prosecuting, and trying war crimes cases, as well as in the current witness protection program. Ultimately, the success of the strategy will be judged on its implementation. It will be based on action. To help the strategy succeed, we in the mission have offered suggestions to make it an even more effective tool for managing the processing of war crimes cases. I am sure that we would all wish that as many victims as possible see justice and that the most serious crimes are prosecuted while the perpetrators are still alive. Many cases do remain and many cases do keep flowing from the region to the war crimes prosecutor's office.